Hey Ash, how you doing? Hello, again. <laughs> so we've just done another video. Um, I saw Ash cutting up yes. pieces of paper for a source deals 200 to 249 folder. Um, and um, he very kindly agreed to be on video. Agreed. <laughs> okay. Agreed. I was like, Ash, please come down and we'll shoot a couple of videos. Yes. What we thought might be quite useful for you guys is how we actually evaluate deals. And for you guys, if you're either working with investors or if you're evaluating deals for yourself, how it might be quite sensible to evaluate deals. We're going to yeah. make it clear. We actually shut our investor group like five months ago. So we're not doing this to attract yeah. new investors. Um, but just thought this experience might be quite useful. Yeah. So, um, um, this one is from the source properties 100 to 124. Ah, we were doing them in sets of 24. Yeah. We're now doing them in sets of 50. Yeah. Um, what do we got? Uh, so this one here is for Marlborough House, which is one of um, six flats yeah. that we agreed to buy um, quite a while ago, probably about 18 months ago, and it took yeah. ages to go through. Why did it take ages to um, go through? <coughs> Uh, there were many things that we needed to overcome with it. Um, basically, we bought the free. We, we had agreed to buy the freehold block, and we had some uh, investors lined up for it. Yes. Um, and they stuck with us to to actually complete on it in the end, which is great. Um, but um, yeah, there was lots of things to do legally that we, you know, we had to had to kind of get sorted, like leases and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, um, you're being really polite. Um, the business partners selling it um, um, seem to have a difficulty between themselves, is again a really polite uh, way yeah. of saying it, and literally could not come to an agreement. Mm. And, and even at, do you remember, two minutes to three on the very last day we could buy it, and I was going a bit, should we say mental? Ash, get it done! Yeah. Uh, the business partners still felt themselves unable to agree to work with each other to sign the documents. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So that was that was the vendors, that were the people who were selling it. Yeah, yeah. bless them. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So these things happen. You mm -hmm. know, we've bought deals within four days and we've taken 18 months to buy a deal in this case. Yeah. And you just sit and babysit the deal. Mm -hmm. So what have we got here in terms of valuation? Talk um, through how you evaluate a property. So um, this one, um, we normally put a front picture on, but because uh, we had agreed to buy the whole block, we only had floor plans at this point. Um, so this one was actually agreed at, um, I mean we agreed a fee for the total total block if you like and then we split it up into six individual purchases. Sure. Um, so this one's actually agreed for 89,500 yep. for, um, for the one on the top floor. Yep. Um, and currently, uh, well, well it was arranged as a one bed kind of um, one bed top floor flat in the sure, loft. Sure. Um, so uh, yeah, we put on there the purchase price, what we reckon it's worth. At, the, at this point we thought it was worth about 125. Yeah. Just as a large one bed. Yeah. Um, in, in this particular area. Can I, can I explain what we did to it? Uh, not yet. Okay. <laughs> not yet. Um, and then uh, we got a little bit, because this report was pretty brief, so we normally put in a bit about the area. But um, because we knew this one was bought, being bought in-house, we knew the area pretty well. Um, and um, we put a bit of information on there about what rent you could achieve and um, what the estate agents thought it would be worth as a one bed. But why do you find the estate agents really useful uh, in valuating deals? Um, estate agents are pretty useful for valuing deals because they, kind of, uh, they know their stuff because um, they're working in, in the area, you know, every day so they know what the market's doing, they know what yeah. the trends are like, how many buyers they've got, yeah. um, how many properties they need to sell. Yeah. Um, so that's all really useful stuff. So we use their, eva um, their valuations to... And what are you looking at? Is it the purchase evaluation or when it's done up? When it's done up. Oh. So um, yeah, quite often when we buy these deals there is some refurb needed. Um, in this instance it wasn't actually too much. But um, yeah, we ask for their values for when it's done up. So, you know, cream walls, beige carpet, yeah. um, decent enough spec. Yes, yeah. but nothing fancy. Yeah. Nothing fancy, no, cool. just, just steady. Yeah. Got you. Cool. So you, on this one, you talked to five estate agents who all gave you their thoughts. Yeah. And then you looked at a whole bunch of... Loads of sold prices for yeah. one bed flats yeah. uh, in the area. Um, and that's just taken from like quarter mile, half mile around. Um, and stuff that's fairly recent that are direct comparables. And how do you figure out what's a direct comparable? Because one street might be posher than the other, and particularly mm. in a city, you know, three streets away, you've just got an entirely different vibe. Yeah, yeah. So, um, 
you know, I've been working with TGPC for a while, so <laughs> I, I'm, I know Bristol Do you quite mean forever? well. Forever. Yeah, it feels like it. Um, so since before the beer. Yes. Um, so I know the streets quite well, so I'll put in the streets that I know are comparables. Yeah. Um, so that's maybe something to spot is to not put in streets that are not comparables. Yeah, and if if you don't know, then ask someone who knows, um, and that would be the estate agents, Got and you. they'll tell you. Got yeah. You. Okay, so that's the state agent valuations and sold yep. within a reasonable time period that's economically similar yep. and e um, economically similar streets. And then what? And then um, some sales comparables. So yeah. these are all pulled from uh, Rightmove, uh, yeah. and that's just what's on the market and sold subject to contract at the time of writing the report. Got you. So it just gives us, an, uh, again, an idea of comparable um, listings and what we think it's going to be worth. Yeah. Yeah, and again, I guess my question is, how do you choose them? Same answer. Same. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and then. And then rental comparables. Gotcha. So, um, because we had already s always kind of planned with this particular flat to rent it out afterwards. Yes. Um, just um, some flat listings for stuff that's in the area again. Um, try and keep it comparable. Um, you know, similar sort of size, similar yeah. location, that yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. Um, but yeah. One thing yes. that's pretty interesting with this one is that because we had so much space in the yes. top floor, yes. um, we decided to carve it up a little bit okay. and create a two bed. Okay, what did we do? So um, we made it more open plan in this area here. Yeah. So it was a kitchen, uh, kitchen lounge, diner. Yes. And then we okay. moved the bathroom. So yes. I think we put the bathroom in the middle. Uh, so the, the hallway got moved forward yeah. to the landing because we also um, the com our company was the freeholder we asked permission of ourselves mm -hmm. um, and because it was bought in uh, it, we created a management company so the so we actually got some extra space there and then the, you went into the kitchen there and you went into the bedrooms here and this became the bathroom uh, there you go. yeah and so this here became the second bedroom we moved this wall to about there, so we had two more or less equal bedrooms. Cool, there we go. Um, so our original thoughts were to just keep it as a one bed, but you know, decided to turn it into a two bed. Yeah. Um, so I know that we've just had it revalued as part of the refinance. Yes. And um, yeah, revalued for 160, which is... Not bad. Not too bad. So why didn't you, when you put it out as a report, say, oh, you can definitely do this as a two bed, and you, you know, I'm gonna punch high with my pricing? Because uh, you didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't know at the time, so you Hang know. On. Oh, you knew your stuff. Yeah, we <laughs> we had to speak to you know um, building regs and all that sort of stuff just to make sure that we could do it um, and just make sure that you know we're doing the right thing. Yeah. So again, probably quite a cautious, steady approach rather than punchy and over enthusiastic yeah. just yeah. in case it went wrong. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Oh, well done. Thank you very yeah. much. No worries. Cool. Thank you. Anything else to add? See okay. you later. <laughs> <laughs> get off me, get me off video yeah. and get me back to work. Yeah. All right. Thank cool. you ever so. No Bye. Worries.